Picture this, the year is 1957, a time when the world was spinning to a different rhythm, and television was slowly etching its mark on households across the nation. In the midst of this era, a show emerged that would soon find its way into the hearts of many, the real McCoys. As the flickering black and white screen came to life, families gathered, eyes glued to the mesmerizing tales of the McCoy clan. Perhaps it was your first encounter with the show that left an indelible mark, a memory etched in time like a vintage photograph. The chuckles, the heartfelt moments, they all have a way of sneaking into the chambers of your mind even after all these years. Remember Grandpa Amos, the wise old soul with a twinkle in his eye. Or perhaps it was Luke, that determined young lad, always ready to take on life's challenges with a blend of optimism and innocence. And who could forget that picturesque backdrop of the countryside, where every frame seemed to exude a simpler, more genuine time. But wait, let's not spoil the surprise just yet. As we journey back to those times, let's uncover some riveting, lesser-known facts about the real McCoys. Did you know that the show was actually inspired by a famous feud between two real-life families? Or that its humble beginnings led to a remarkable six-season run that solidified its place in television history? These little nuggets of trivia are like hidden treasures, waiting for us to uncover. So, buckle up as we delve into the charming anecdotes and surprising tidbits that surrounded the making of this iconic series. From casting quirks to behind-the-scenes stories, each piece of the puzzle adds a new layer of fascination to a show that has stood the test of time. It's a chance to relive the magic and discover the hows and whys that made the real McCoys a beloved classic. And as we journey together through the annals of television history, always remember that it's these shared moments that bridge the past and the present, igniting a spark of nostalgia and wonder. So, shall we begin? Strap in for a trip down memory lane, where the McCoy's world becomes your own, if only for a little while. Unveiling the untold charm of the real McCoys, capturing country humor amid closed captioning and the quaint world of 1,957 seconds television. One gem shone brightly, the real McCoys. This beloved series, set amidst the rustic charm of a countryside farm, brought hearty laughter to households across the nation. Yet, an often overlooked facet emerges, the intricate country speech and grammar that define the show's essence. As viewers tuned in week after week, an unfortunate reality unfolded for the hearing impaired. The closed captioning, while accurate in spelling and grammar, failed to encapsulate the countrified linguistic nuances that define the characters. Take, for instance, Grandpa McCoy's unique pronunciations. Words like checkers metamorphosed into checkies, and Picture Show adopted the endearing moniker of Picture Show. Even names underwent delightful transformations. Elvira became Elvery. Yet, these linguistic treasures often lost their luster in the realm of captioning. The very heartbeat of the show resided in these linguistic quirks, where Shore substituted Shur and I Chihuahua was replaced with the mundane Jiwao. The true essence of the McCoy family's country humor was at times lost in translation. This incongruity ignited a spirited debate, should proper grammar yield to the authentic rustic cadence that defined the series. However, one resounding truth echoes louder than the debate. The series was a sanctuary of simplicity. A TV historian aptly summarized it as a soothing respite from the cacophony of life. The real McCoys offered no heavy-handed messages or dramatic, very special episodes. Instead, it welcomed viewers to its world like an inviting rocking chair on a serene farm, gentle, relaxing, and free from pretense. Yet, amidst the quaint charm and comfort, an intriguing fact surfaces, cast dynamics that mirrored the Appalachian backdrop. Amos McCoy was meant to be Luke McCoy's grandfather, a familial connection enshrined in tradition. However, the reality was a touch different. Walter Brennan, the actor behind Amos, was a mere 32 years senior to Richard Crenna, who portrayed Luke. Such age gaps may seem unusual, but in the Appalachian tapestry from which the McCoys hailed, early marriages were the norm. A twist of history that even the most astute viewer might have missed. The real McCoys was a portal to a simpler era, where country humor was both a language and a way of life. A show where linguistic twists held the key to its uniqueness, even if closed captioning couldn't quite capture its magic. And as fans reminisce about the series, it's the tranquility of its rustic world that remains etched in memory.
a glimpse behind the scenes of the real McCoys, unveiling surprising cast changes in its final hurrah. The 1957 TV series The Real McCoys underwent a transformation that left viewers astir. The show, known for its rustic charm and heartwarming narratives, shifted from ABC to CBS for its conclusive season, altering the dynamic of the beloved McCoys clan. One of the most striking alterations was the vanishing act of familiar faces. Luke's once present wife, Kate, was scripted to have met her fate, altering the show's familial landscape. Equally conspicuous was the absence of little Luke, Luke's brother, who was unceremoniously whisked away to a boarding school, never to grace the screen again. This transformation in character constellation, though jarring, was the creator's attempt to breathe new life into the show's narrative, injecting fresh dynamics while bidding adieu to beloved personas. It was a gamble that divided loyal viewers, sparking conversations about the authenticity of the show's essence in its final lap. Notably, this move wasn't the only eyebrow-raising aspect in the series. The casting choices themselves raised questions. Richard Crenna, who portrayed Luke McCoy, carried a significant age gap with his on-screen siblings. A curious 18-year span separated him from Lydia Reed, and an even more staggering 20 years parted him from Michael Winkleman. This curious age discrepancy, though potentially perplexing, seemed to have little impact on the chemistry the trio exhibited on screen. Interestingly, Richard Crenna was the stranger to the small screen when he graced the McCoy's homestead. Prior to his role as the head of the McCoy clan, he had been remembered for his portrayal of the squeaky-voiced Walter Denton on Our Miss Brooks. The juxtaposition of his former and latter roles showcased an actor of versatility, taking on personas that spanned the spectrum of vocal timbres. In a symphony of changes, the real McCoys managed to keep audiences captivated until its final moments. The unexpected shifts in characters and casting choices elicited reactions that resonated far beyond the screen, a testament to the show's profound impact on the television landscape of its time. In a world where the only constant is change, the real McCoys took a leap, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers and a legacy that continues to be remembered. Hassey McCoy's unusual moniker unveiled origins on the real McCoy's in an unexpected twist revealed during the fifth season's tenth episode. Titled The Rich Boy, it was disclosed that Hassey McCoy's given name isn't Hassey at all, but rather Tallahassee. The charming revelation unfurled as Grandpa Amos McCoy shared the intriguing tale behind the naming choice. The McCoy clan, nestled in the heart of the eponymous 1957 TV series The Real McCoy's, had a penchant for the unique. The genesis of this distinctive name dates back to a serendipitous postcard. A cousin dispatched the postcard from the sunny climes of Tallahassee, Florida, and its melodic resonance captured the McCoy family's imagination. When Hassey, portrayed by the effervescent Kathleen Nolan, made her entrance into the world, she was christened Tallahassee McCoy, a testament to the indelible influence of a far-off city and the whimsicality of a family rooted in the rural. The yarn spun on the real McCoys finds its intrigue not just in the show's narrative, but in its alignment with the broader cultural tapestry of the time. As the series unfolded against the backdrop of the late 1950s, viewers were treated to the sitcom's bucolic charm. It's in these subtleties that the essence of the real McCoys resides, a blend of storytelling and idiosyncrasy that reverberated with audiences across the nation. Stephanie Quilligan, a television historian, notes, The revelation of Hass's true name serves as a reminder of the show's ability to infuse relatable familial dynamics with a touch of the extraordinary. It encapsulates the McCoy family's journey in discovering the unanticipated, even in the everyday. As the real McCoys etched its mark on television history, this revelation has remained a cherished anecdote among fans. The interplay between the ordinary and the exceptional is, perhaps, the hallmark of the series, a quality encapsulated by Tallahassee McCoy's name, which, ironically, echoes a city far from the fictional farmstead nestled in the San Fernando Valley. In the sprawling landscape of 1957 television series, The Real McCoys, one curious detail often catches the eye, the show's promotional material placing the McCoys rural homestead 20 miles northwest of the Los Angeles City Hall. This tidbit, seemingly arbitrary, holds a connection much closer to the heart of actor Walter Brennan, who portrayed the patriarch Amos McCoy. 
Brennan's final resting place, the Mission San Fernando Cemetery, is just a stone's throw from this fictitious locale. However, the intriguing connections don't end there. Delving deeper into the cast dynamics, another remarkable fact surfaces. Richard Crenna, who played the role of Luke McCoy, shared a mere 32-year age difference with his on-screen grandfather, Walter Brennan. This quirk of casting offered an interesting juxtaposition on screen, as the generational gap appeared narrower than the reality. But amidst the laughter and camaraderie on set, the challenges of production sometimes took a toll. On February 23, 1961, Kathleen Nolan, a key cast member, faced a dramatic incident during the filming of an episode. A horse-riding mishap led to her sustaining injuries that kept her away from the show for four arduous months. Her recovery journey saw her in and out of hospitals before finally rejoining the series for an episode aired on June 15, 1961. Her dedication to the craft and resilience in the face of adversity mirrored the spirit of the show itself. In the tapestry of the real McCoys, these lesser-known threads of trivia add depth to the familiar narratives of rural life and family dynamics. The show's legacy, anchored in these off-screen tales, continues to captivate fans and historians alike, a testament to the enduring power of television storytelling. As we bid adieu to the world of the real McCoys, we find ourselves wrapped in a warm tapestry of nostalgia, with each episode a thread that weaves through the fabric of our memories. This timeless series isn't just a show, it's a journey that has taken us back to a simpler time, a place where the laughter was genuine and the lessons were heartfelt. As we reflect on the lives of Grandpa Amos, Luke, Kate, and the rest of the McCoys, it's like flipping through a treasured family album, where every episode is a snapshot frozen in time. The charming simplicity of life on the farm, the witty banter that would put a smile on even the sternest of faces, and the camaraderie that made us feel like we were part of their clan, all of these elements stitched together to create a television masterpiece that continues to resonate. Now, it's your turn. What are your cherished memories of the real McCoys? Did you laugh heartily at Grandpa Amos' antics or find solace in the wisdom of Kate? Perhaps you related to Luke's adventures or saw a bit of your own family dynamics in their interactions. Share your thoughts, your memories, and your insights. Let's celebrate this remarkable series that has touched us all in unique ways. As we close this chapter, we extend our gratitude to you for taking this journey with us. Your appreciation for the real McCoys keeps its spirit alive, ensuring that its legacy remains vibrant for generations to come. Keep those memories alive, share your stories, and keep the laughter echoing. Thank you for your time, your passion, and your connection to the real McCoys. Until we meet again to reminisce about tales from simpler times, take care and keep the spirit of this beloved show alive. Warmest wishes and fond memories.